this is Josh. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send a zip forms document along with other documents imported into Digital Ink for signature. Make sure you're here at your file tab within your transaction and simply go over here and hit e sign. Make sure you uncheck all these here. Check that uncheck that box that will free up all the check boxes here and remove them. And here for this example, I want to send a request for repair. So I'm going to check that. And I also want to uncheck this box. So it removes all the check marks from here. And I want to send it to my buyers. I've got two buyers, buyer number one and buyer number two. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to populate their emails. OK, I've populated their emails. I'm going to reorder how they get sent. So I want uh, buyer number two to receive the documents after buyer number one has signed them. So I want to bring this. I'm going to select buyer number two, use the arrow over here, and click it until they were above my other selection. So now buyer, my buyer number two will get them before buyer number one. Just make sure you have that order there, because if somebody needs to sign them first, you want somebody to see them first before the other person does. So normally from here, we would just say send now. But I want to add other documents. So I want to add these documents to this package for digital signature. So instead of hitting send now, we're going to go continue to Zip Logics Digital Ink. So this has opened up a browser and brought us to the Digital Ink website. So you're going to get this little pop-up box. When you are finished updating this transaction, click on Activate to begin or resume the signing process. We'll show you that here in a minute. So it's just a little reminder. OK. Here are the documents. So now we want to add more. We want to add more documents. So here we're going to go to this button. We're going to say Add Document. We're going to choose File. So on my desktop, I've got couple of documents I need to add. Now you can only add these one at a time. So I'm going to add my request for repairs list and I'm going to title it request for repairs list. And I'm going to hit submit. This is a separate PDF document that I generated with a list of items we are requesting repair on. So here is the imported document request for repairs list. In my example here, as you can see, we have, it's just blank. So uh, we want to add signature fields here for them to sign. So as you can see, there's no signature fields for them here to sign. We need to add those in. So let's go back to our dashboard. Now we're going to hit edit. Click the edit button. This will allow us to edit this document and add our signature blocks. We are going to skip over here, for my example, to page 4 where the signature blocks are. And we want to add that. So we want to have buyer 2 and buyer 1 added. Click on the, the word, uh, we're going to click on the word here, buyer, buyer 2. And we're going to click sign and date. So here I want them to sign and date it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag my buyer number 2 is this person here. So I'm going to drag it to that column to that. I'm going to drag it to this line here. Now I'm going to go to buyer number one. I want them to sign and date. I'm going to drag it here to my buyer number one. Now if I want them to go back and initial each page, I can do that. So I can go back to my page one. And let's say I want them to initial the bottom of each page. So I can scroll down to the bottom of each page. And I can say, let's see, buyer number two. I want them to just initial it and not date it. Initial there for buyer number two. And I can go initial here, right above that, for my buyer number two. Now, if you screw up on these things and you want to get rid of them, you can drop it. Or and you can choose here and then you can drop it and get rid of it. Grab the little box, hold your mouse key, drag it over, 
and I want buyer number one about here for initial and then I want buyer number two to initial as well and I'll just put that underneath here underneath our buyer number one. Buyer number one this gets highlighted showing you that's buyer number one when I click this you'll see this gets changed up here buyer number two so now they'll their initials will appear here on the page now if you wanted them to fill in a, uh, a checkbox you can do that too if you had a checkbox you can drag this out put that over the checkbox and then they can check it um, that's another option if you want them to write some text and fill in something on a document you can drag this out here for each buyer so you can do a text box for each buyer those are some neat tools that this allows you to do so I don't need any of these things I don't need them to initial or check boxes or uh, or initial any of these other pages so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these delete field click on this it does a little drop down delete field yes and I'm gonna go ahead and keep my uh, initials here okay so everything looks good we're going to go back to the dashboard now everything's done these two are good and we want to activate so yes I want to activate this transaction what that means is it is now going to send an email to the person that was first on your list they will get an email with a link explaining how to sign their document once it verifies it will then send an email in the same link to your next in line once they're done then it will go to the next person in line if there's no other people in line to receive the documents after them they will be returned to you you will be notified that your documents are ready via email so we're going to hit ok and now we can just quit out of here so you can always go back into your zip forms here and you can click under e-sign you can always check the status if you want to see who signed it or how things are going just go to your transaction these are some previous transactions i've sent out uh, but you can go click this one here is the one we just did and we can go view this will take us back to the website the digital inks website and these are our actions uh, it says an email has been sent so now we're waiting here the transaction status says there's an action required once buyer two signs it'll say completed then it will move to the next in line this will say action required until they are done completing their transaction once they're done it will now be completed and there's nobody else in line so then you will now get notified to view your documents and or download them